Hello again, picking up uh, people's ash in the national parks and forest. Look at this. Rolling Rock beer cans. This McDonald's garbage. Now, I just hiked through here a couple days ago with <laughs> with Fritz. There's Fritz. And Annie. And Annie. And this trash wasn't here. I saw two Navajo women walking this way yesterday. I don't know if it was them or not. I can tell you Native Americans love this beer. Rolling Rock. Um... that remain were a dying breed and it's bringing out the worst in the people that already were uh relatively uh horrible selfish narcissistic now it's frustrating because i pick up a lie just picked up poop stained paper towels two days ago and burnt them in uh, my camp uh, site in the fire ring and yeah it was disgusting I, I washed up afterwards but how often do i do this quite often now it's frustrating on a couple of levels there's a bag so i'm going to pick up this trash i don't want to keep looking at this for 10 years now if i come back here next year. black glove there so i don't know if this means they work at the mcdonald's or not uh, wouldn't it surprise me the employees in national parks now have become, you know, they're just freaking wretched. This is the kind of stuff they do. They take craps in the middle of a trail or dirt, uh, old forest service road, hardly anybody uses, and they'll leave big poop stained paper towels there. It's, I mean, you can't tell me this isn't intentional. Look at the way it's scattered. And no, this wasn't done by an animal. It was done by a two-legged animal. So... I'm going to pick it up again. Again, I've been picking up poop-stained toilet paper on the trail. And when I was in the Mojave Desert, left by railroad workers. They're probably spunning out on coke and meth. And they think it's fun. They, they obviously do it on purpose. It's not just trashing. It's a big, I don't know, F you to the world. Uh, there is a complete propaganda misnomer that native americans here's the special relationship native americans have with the land you're looking at it I mean, an old man with the dogs so here i am everywhere i go picking up trash and What's also doubly frustrating about it is that the overpaid, underworked National Park Service rangers and personnel who have become absolute, unhelpful, unfriendly, poop heads, government workers, it, it, they used to, they went from being, you know, especially in the national parks to being fun and decent to being neutral and not helpful to now having just incredible contempt and hatred for the public they serve one two three cups so i'm i'm leaning toward it was those two navajo women i saw walking through here this way yesterday i'm not sure does it matter now It's offensive. They hate, they have contempt for the public, and then they see this trash in the national parks, in the national forests, and they want, they're they too good to bend over and pick it up. And they're getting paid really decent money, free housing, and full bennies, and can retire after 20 years. Here I am, living out of my minivan, getting paid nothing for this. I'm just trying to be a decent human being again. lives in the uh, public look at the glove do you think they work there i wouldn't be surprised a lot of local uh, native americans and white trash work at the national park fast food joints and uh, whether they work there or not rolling uh, rolling rock beer that is a favorite it doesn't matter what nationality they are uh, they're just pigs whoever they are and i'm sorry i'm frustrated but i also uh saw the native americans driving down the road where i picked up all the poop stained paper towels and they just left their big crap piles out there human feces they don't even put the toilet paper under a rock that's how much they love mother earth uh-huh 
More like dances with poop towels. What? What is... I don't know what's wrong with these people. They're evil. So, people... God does not condemn people to hell. People essentially condemn themselves because they choose darkness over light. They, they love performing the deeds of darkness as opposed to doing anything uh, light. Okay, see, we just picked it all up. Now, I've got to carry this a mile and a half back to my camp and then drive it out tomorrow. Uh, because I was going to go to town anyway and, um, and throw it away. Yeah, make sure I didn't drop my wallet. That would be the coup de grace. Almost every time I've been harassed, I've been reading the Bible. Tell me that's a coincidence. These uh, you folks, now's the time to be sober and vigilant. Well, I'm not judging you, but I don't drink. I don't do any illegal drugs. I don't smoke marijuana. I'm not judging you if you do. What I'm saying for me is that now is the time to be ethical. And I'm not saying it's unethical to do that. Although I put alcohol right up there with meth. Now is the time to be sober and vigilant because Jesus is coming back soon. And what people do in the darkness is uh, always seen by God. People that spread hate and division and lies. Uh, so it's like the, uh, the misnomer about Native Americans caring about the land. That is hysterical. There must be some that do, and someday I hope to meet one. Uh, but it reminds me of the uh, touting of medical personnel, nurses and doctors as heroes. That's a freaking joke. The nurses and doctors are the ones that ply kids with Ritalin when they're young because they're energetic, and then antidepressants when they're teenagers. Uh, I've known a, my oldest sister, well, actually both my sister's siblings uh, are nurses. The um, oldest one... Uh, has made so much money off of it. I think she's owned five houses. I don't begrudge anybody making a good living. But I've never heard either one of them or any nurse I know talk about <laughs> nurturing patients or getting into nursing because they care about people. I had one nurse who was kind enough about a year ago to step forward and give me some financial assistance before I got my current news kick. I, it was her idea. I appreciated it. She never once talked about helping patients or people, but she talked about making money, a lot of money, at least half a dozen times. I'm not criticizing any one individual. I'm saying the reality is Native Americans have about as much of a special relationship with the Mother Earth as doctors and nurses are heroes. And when I see online on TikTok uh, all these uh, medical staff personnel um, posting all these selfies and touting themselves as heroes, I'm thinking, boy... I, have I ever met a sing I think it used to be a thing that nurses did get into nursing because they cared about people and they wanted to help people. Must have been a long time ago, long time ago. But we know how much people have changed, and so it's going to affect all professions. Have I ever met a single nurse that was nurturing and caring and that actually acted like she liked to help people? I've